Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. My goodness, look at that slope. I know it's it's always hard to see slopes in real life, so I got a little app. I don't know how accurate it is, but it, it's showing about 25 degrees worth of slope, which it feels worse than that. Once you start getting down towards like where that bottom fence is, it feels like it's a little bit steeper. Here you can see the tripod, how short the one leg is to keep it level just trying to visualize how how steep this is i use this as an opportunity to test out the toro push mower since it is such a big slope that might be one reason you would get a push mower but the main force of this video is addressing what's in the title the reason i do not push mow i have caught so much flack over the years in videos where either i fire someone because they've put so much stuff in their yard that i would have to push mow or if it's a yard that my 36 inch stand on mower won't fit in and so I, I can't mow it, I'll say, no, I'm not gonna do that job. And there's so many comments about, oh, Copper Creek Cuts is just so lazy, Brad, so lazy. Now that's the only argument that's ever presented. So right off the bat, you know that it's people talking with emotion and not logic. No one has ever said, well, Brad, the business case for including push mowing in your business is X, Y, and Z. Now, when I look at the groups of people who tend to have issues with me not push mowing, they generally fall into what seem to be three categories. I get a lot of people saying, I would never hire you to work on my lawn because you're lazy. So a big group is homeowners who think that because they use push mowers, that's what commercial guys are supposed to use. And if they don't, then they're lazy. Many of them will be employees in their own respective fields. So if you don't have this business mindset of, well, the only way I'm making money is if I'm working. And if I can pick and choose my jobs to make more money with less time, I'm going to do that. If they don't have that in mind, they don't know any better. So there's no fault there. The other group, again, doesn't know any better is going to be young people. Sometimes you can tell by the usernames and the sentence structure that you're speaking with someone who's just who's just young. What you'll find with young folks if they are interested in lawn care is that push mowing is pretty much the main way they've experienced lawn care. Whether that's at their own homes or in their own businesses that they've started out, they don't have this type of commercial equipment that makes you a lot more efficient. And if you haven't experienced how much more efficient you can be, you may not fully appreciate it. The third group that I'll run into is folks who are employees in their own right and they are looking at it, whether they're lawn care employees or something else, but they're looking at it through the lens of, if I was an employee and I said, I'm not gonna do certain work, I would get in trouble. So because of that, this bum, Brad, saying he's not gonna do work, that's not good. When, again, it's a business ownership thing. If you own a business, you have a different set of parameters that run through your mind when you make decisions versus if you're an employee. If you're an employee, the only thing you have to think about is, what am I being told to do? That's what I'm gonna do in exchange for my hourly rate. With me being a business owner, there's a lot more to it and it's what jobs am I going to take and how long am I going to have to travel to take those jobs because that will incur a cost to me and when I'm on those jobs what is the opportunity cost of the other jobs that I'm giving up that's an oversimplification in itself just those couple of points so there's there's just a ton of things that go into this decision that most of the people who have something negative to say are never gonna think about or encounter in their lives. And that's not their fault, it's just you don't know what you don't know. Let me also back up my claims by saying that the people who comment positively on these types of videos where I say I turn down work, they almost always identify themselves as business owners as well. The people who have a problem with me not push mowing are not other lawn care operators. They're just people who have stumbled onto these videos and, and because of their own personal values or experiences, take some kind of slight with my decision not to push mow. The reason I don't push mow is because it doesn't make business sense. If I can stay just as busy with work where I don't have to push mow versus work I do have to push mow. Why would I ever buy a push mower and take on that work? If I don't live in an area where I have to push mow to collect clippings or 
because you know an HOA requires it or for any number of reasons that you might have a push mower. There's no reason for me to get a push mower. If I were to get a push mower, what would that mean for my business? Well, it means one, I would have the expense, both the initial purchase cost, the ongoing maintenance cost, the storage cost of a push mower, I would also have an opportunity cost. That opportunity cost would be the extra time that I spend on these backyards that I could be spending on a stand-on on some different yard, finishing yards quicker, making more money. Speaking to the physical component of push mowing, I'm a solo guy, so it's just me. If I don't want to beat myself up push mowing, why should I? Just because some random people on the internet think that I should? No, that's a terrible reason. If I can get a job done on a stand-on mower, save myself the physical exertion in the Florida weather, there's no reason not to. Push mowing is less efficient in every single aspect when compared to the machines that I run, a 36 inch stand on or a 48 inch stand on or 60 inch Toro zero turn. There is no good business reason for me to push mow and nobody who has ever challenged me on not push mowing has given a valid business reason. This isn't any kind of video to stoke the fires of contention. It's simply to say that if you see me not doing something, you may not be a business owner who's looking at this from a business mindset. Well, I hope that was entertaining and or informative. If you'd like to see some more videos, here's a few more YouTube things you might like. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.